I worked for a hot brand, one of the hottest. The mere mention of its name could open most doors. Partner that with an amazing role that was a reflection of my passion and my experience. I had found my dream job, a design-centric brand located in a beautiful corner of the world, innovative, fast-paced, driven by incredibly talented people. So after 12 years, I asked myself, is this still your dream? The answer was no. So what happens when you're finished with the dream job at the dream brand with the dream resources? In my case, I had to leave my dream. I had to fire myself. This isn't easy for someone like me who's challenged with change, who gets attached deeply, who has loved most places where she's landed. Counter that with a personality that's curious, engaged, loves to learn, and experience new things. I'm addicted to creating something that's new or fixing something that's broke. Easily bored, yet desperately not wanting to let go. I've always had to push myself out the door, always, even in the second grade. You see, I loved the first grade, loved it. We had accomplished so much together as first graders. We'd found comfort with each other when President Kennedy was assassinated. We took pride in our first lunchboxes. We learned how to add and subtract. We were a dream class. So why move on to the second grade? Couldn't we just stay in our first grade class? <laughs> we all know why, as children, we move from grade to grade. But is it really so different as adults? This pattern continues throughout my life. And I'd love to stand up here in front of you and tell you that I'm over it. I embrace change. I love to leave home. Can't wait to get on a plane. But I'm a work in progress. And so as I share my message with you, I continue to challenge myself. It's not as easy as love it, and we can all, many of us, finish this sentence, right? Or leave it. The real challenge is to love it and leave it. Sure, follow your dream holds so much promise, but I suggest so does leaving your dream. Leaving our dreams shouldn't be seen as a luxury, one that's reserved for those with wealth or without family to support, because we're all working towards something. We all want to leave our mark. We all want to make a difference. The son of Greek immigrants, my dad, had what many considered a dream job, his dream job. Steady work, good pay, a boss that respected him, admired him, and wanted him to play a role in his business. But my dad's dream had changed. My dad's dream was to start his own business with two children under the age of four. That business thrives today. My dad left his mark. My dad had to leave his dream to do it. After all, should one dream really last us our entire lifetime? Should one dream last us our entire career? I argue that leaving our dreams should be a lifelong journey. Leaving our dreams should be something that we encourage. Coach and author Tim Story says that our dreams have a voice. So what are they trying to tell us? 
Are you considering leaving a dream? Here are some questions you might want to ask yourself. Are you getting too comfortable? Are you only doing what you're an expert at? Have you started to believe your title is you? Are you thinking too much about the past? Are you worried too much about the future? Have you had the company logo tattooed on your ankle? <laughs> Do you speak in company code? If you were to write yourself a pink slip, what might it say? I just happen to have one right here. I want to share with you. OK. Dear Karen, it has come to our attention that you've become a little bored of late in your current role. This boredom has led to increased distraction. And unfortunately, we fear that this may become disruptive over time. Although this was your dream job at one time, it no longer feeds your dream to learn and experience new things. As much as we know you do not leave things easily, you need to continue your dream of taking chances, feeling frightened, helping others, and building something new. So I think my mom might say this sounds a lot like the note the first grade teacher wrote on my report card, but that's, that's for another talk. So before we give up our dream jobs, before we fire ourselves, let's give props to our dreams, right? Dream jobs, they're a good thing, a great thing, the best. Dream jobs let us explore and learn and thrive. Dream jobs fulfill us and change us. In fact, I would argue that they change us more than they fulfill us. This is when it gets tough. This is when we realize we're ready for a new dream. This is the time we love it and leave it. So what does it feel like? Shock, sadness, confusion, what ifs. Sounds a lot like being fired, doesn't it? It's not a desired state, is it? Ruth Lubin, author of Are You a Corporate Refugee, calls it the wilderness, chaos, confusion, and crisis. And you did it yourself. My husband and I recently went into a diner in Brockton, Massachusetts, JJ's Cafe. The food was amazing. The chef, JJ, was behind the counter cooking with his colleagues who were proud to be cooking beside him. As I sat at the counter, I noticed some pictures on the wall. It was JJ with presidents of the United States at five-star venues. I could assume that JJ had reached the top of his game. He had found his dream job. But because his dream had changed, I could now enjoy what only presidents had before me. Someone who wanted to have his own place, cooking in his own hometown, and leading by example. Leaving your dreams may never make sense to others. You're ready to go. You're ready to stretch. You're ready to take on a new challenge. And the questions start to come from yourself, from your friends, from your family, from your colleagues. They sound a little like this. Are you crazy? I would kill for a job like that. That would be my dream job. Don't you miss it? A friend of mine, upon leaving her dream job, wondered, would she ever be this good again? Dream jobs, in the eyes of others, often mask what's really going on inside of us. 
when you leave, when you fire yourself, feels a lot like this. May feel like regret, will feel like confusion, you will feel stressed. After all, when currents change, things get bumpy. But this kind of bumpy is good. This kind of bumpy is leaving what you love when you're at the top of your game, knowing your strength and your abilities. They are all your pictures. They are all your pictures. When you love it and leave it, you are acting, not reacting. You have moved yourself. So if you still love it, that's the best time to leave it. Start to embrace the opportunities that come from the chaos and confusion of changing currents. You will not only be that good again, you will be better. Thank you.